Hi, I'm Travis from Fioki. And I'm Brian. Today we're going to talk about some of the myths surrounding shot shells. So, one of those being recoil. Brian, can you tell us what some of the biggest myths are that surround recoil when it comes to shotgun shells? Well, one of the biggest myths in the market is it's just decades of the way people thought. And years ago, a parent would give their child a 20 gauge just going, oh, 20 gauge is going to kick less. It's smaller, it's lighter. Exactly. Well, that kind of goes against the fundamentals of recoil. You take a four pound gun compared to an eight pound gun and shoot the same shell out of it, less felt recoil will be in the heavier gun because you got more mass yeah, to move. Correct. Right? My parents did it. My first gun was a 20 gauge, you know. Um, there's a difference in recoil when you're shooting a single shot shotgun, a semi-automatic, a pump, or an over and under. You know, your single shot pump and over and under have no recoil reduction systems in them. There's nothing to absorb that shock. Exactly, exactly. But in today's world, you know, and of course talking about shot shells or shotgun shells, things have changed. We at Fioki produce 12 gauge shotgun shells that I guarantee you even out of single shot or pumps, will have less recoil than the same velocity, same payload shell in a 20 gauge. It's just powder technology, knowledge, experience over the years, shot shells have evolved. So that's really interesting. So what would you recommend new shooters look for when determining uh, what shotgun or what gauge they're gonna use based on their size or their age? Well, again, it comes down to what are they gonna intend on doing with this firearm? Are they hunting? What are they hunting? Are they shooting clay sports? What clay uh, genre do they really want to enter? Is it just recreation or is it competition? Little factors go in there. Also too, and I can say this, I have a daughter that's real small, petite, and I have to pick out a shotgun for her that one, she can handle safely due to weight Absolutely. and size. And secondly, is not going to give her so much recoil that she does not enjoy the hunt and or the clay target experience. So you have to think about what, who am I buying it for? What are we gonna do with it? And how much, how, you know, especially with children or women, what size are they? Can they handle the weight of the gun? Can they handle the length of the gun? Is it uncomfortable? It all goes into picking out the proper shotgun for whatever you're gonna do. How does recoil affect shooters, whether that's a light recoil or a recoil that might be too heavy for what they're, uh, what they're using their shotgun for? Well, the first one that comes to mind is when it's too heavy. It's too much felt recoil. It, it, one, it gives the person uh, hunting or shooting clays, whatever it may be, a negative experience, and they get beat up. I mean, I've seen people throughout my years of shooting with bruises, et cetera. Um, where the recoil comes into play as far as performance, too much recoil also produces lift in the shotgun. So if you're shooting dove, for example, and there's quite a few in front of you and you want to get a quality second shot, the less bounce, the better the eyes are on the target. Mm -hmm.